Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Rent and Reflex. When it comes to cinema, most films gain enough prominence in their marketing so that a majority of moviegoers would become aware of them and consider checking them out. Then there are those films that don't gain as much prominence in their marketing and simply come and go in their theatrical run, as if to say that they almost never existed. This film is one of those cases. Is it any good? Is there anything in it noteworthy of checking out? Before I can answer those questions, let me tell you what happens in the story. It takes place in a galaxy populated by anthropomorphic animals, and it mainly involves the planet Vanna, which no doubt was inspired by the fruit name Banana since most of its inhabitants are monkeys. An evil monkey named General Zong manages to take over Banna by summoning a giant creature known as a space kraken, which can create black holes. This black hole causes half of the planet to be destroyed, and a baby monkey named Spark gets separated from his parents in the process. Thirteen years later, Spark learns about General Zong's further plans of conquering other planets, and he feels that he has what it takes to stop Zong and become a hero himself. However, his close companions, including a vixen named Vix, who possesses great fighting skills, and a boar named Chunk, who is very tech-savvy, have their own personal doubts about this idea. Still, they end up banding together to stop Zong from taking over the rest of the universe. When I first approached this film, I did not have very high expectations for it. I have expected it to be very mediocre and nothing all that special. After finally checking it out, it did not disappoint in my expectations. While I do appreciate the effort put into the voice acting and how there is at least some imagination, it still comes off as uninspiring, given how stale the animation, the jokes, the story, and the characterizations are. It has ambition with the idea of discovering the hero within yourself, yet it's also rather charmless in getting to that point, especially with how cliche-ridden it all is. It tries so hard to appeal to everyone that it appeals to almost no one. Speaking of appeal, I find it kind of interesting how there are a few advertisements which mention the tagline, Adventure Goes Bananas. Well, it's certainly not the kind of adventure story worth going bananas over. It certainly doesn't monkey around with the kind of humor it brings out. The entire movie isn't even worth going ape over. Yeah, I know, those jokes are terrible. But, bottom line, Spark of Space Tale is an animated film that lacks, for lack of a better word, Spark. On a scale between 1 and 10, I give this film a 4.5. It might not rank among the worst I've ever seen, but it's still kind of bad, and not a film that I strongly recommend. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.